Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, our three mini progressives are gone. And now we have a maze. A maze is what we have now and is what we're going to have for, I think it's like another 12 and a half days at the time of recording. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about the individuals uh, at the bottom of the maze, shall we say? Uh, a quick mention to this over here, if you probably have noticed, they've been doing like a little mini progressive here for uh, the Inheritor. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've seen me use him a lot. He's really good. They do this every once in a while. Uh, I'll give you a heads up on another one. According to their schedule, on Saturday, they're going to be doing another one of these, but it's going to be Mount Azuma. So if you're interested and you got the gems, maybe you want to work on it. You can see I didn't really do anything with this at all uh, because I'm not going to spend the gems. I mean, I could get them, but they might like I have them. Wouldn't really be very useful to me at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to wipe myself out. That sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, I do want to make a quick mention of the Nemesis breeding event, though. Uh, you might notice that I actually did succeed one time, and I have a Shade Moon. So let's just take a look here. So I have a Shade Moon. I think it was seven attempts that I made at this. Hold on a minute. Let me, I can't actually look at any of them because they're busy right now. Uh, but you can see that I have like an epic over there. I have another epic. I had a rare and a, and a third epic. Uh, but here's the thing. This is also a legendary. Unfortunately, my breeding thing, my breeding um, temple has worn off. So I have to wait for the full time. But it is, a, um, it is another epic. Now th pardon me. Legendary. It's a legendary. Uh, the Shade Moon is good. I have a couple of extra cells for him. I think I have about 20 or so. So I am going to be ranking up Sean. So that's, that's good. I don't mind that. I mean, that's in terms of booby prizes, that's all right. Now, if this down here is not Talos, and I have a feeling it's not, I'm kind of hoping for a Galatron, you know, one of the parents. That, that would be what would be most useful to me because another Shade Moon really doesn't help me very much because then it kind of spikes up there, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the counts to get over um, 110. You know, that doesn't really help me very much. I would, however, really like to get Galatron from 100 to 105. Uh, another Voltec, again, doesn't really help me very much. It's just the one that would help me most would be Galatron. That would be good. I'd like to get him at the 105. I'd probably use him a lot more then. Uh, so anyway, we'll find out what I get sometime in the future, right? All right, well, you know what? Why don't we just go over to the maze and take a look at it? Okay, so this is Thor of the Dead Maze. And of course, it's got a lot of epics up here, and there's a, a rare. Do we really have to talk very much about these guys? I mean, really. Okay, he's a rare. That's all you really need to know. This fellow... I think I have three of him in the vault that I haven't ripped to pieces yet. I mean, if you're starting the game and you don't really have very much, I mean, he's a good uh, epic to get. You know, the problem with it is if you are starting the game, you probably don't have a metal habitat, which is pretty good that he's also got thunder in him. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hatch him or anything like that. Or I shouldn't say hatch him. You might be able to hatch him. just wouldn't have anywhere to put him. You know what I mean? Um... But once you get them, you know, once you get metal habitats, a good way to make early money is to have as many metal creatures as you can in them because they're pretty good at holding money. So I was just originally, when I went through it, I just bred as many as I could as soon as I had metal creatures uh, and stuffed them up and ranked them up because that way uh, they make me a lot of money. Until you have legendaries, metal, uh, metal monsters are actually rather good for that. But, I mean, like, is he good? Is... There's other epics you're going to use before him. But if you don't have anything, it's not bad, right? All right, then we have Growler. It's pretty much the same category as I just mentioned before. Is he one of the great ones? Nah. If you don't have anything, might be useful. That's pretty much the way the beginning of these are. I mean, you're not going to get anything game changing, you know, at the top, right? It's meant to, you're supposed to move them to get the keys you need to get down. So let's get to the stuff that's important, right? All right, let's start with Montauk Creature. Okay, Montauk Creature is actually pretty good, if you, especially if you don't have a darkness creature. And this one can actually act as denial for you because it has a, uh, a group stun. And also, I believe, has a group blindness too. has a couple of other things going for it. 
The reason I don't really use mine very much is because of lock ruin slots. I can't spare the gems for it. It's just all. But a good creature. Very good creature. All right. And then we have Agarsis. And Agarsis is very good. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. A uh, very good fire creature can set groups on fire. Has the very, very annoying Vesuvius, which is a taunt with a damage mirror on it. Oh, is it a damage mirror or is it a skill mirror? It might be a skill mirror. Uh, the difference is reflecting damage and reflecting the effects. So both of them can strategically be very annoying. Uh, but this one, very good. Also, he's got a single target that does good damage and also puts quicksands on. So Ergursus is very good. If you're getting to the point in Maze where you know you're not going to go any further, very good. Especially if you'll notice, also happens to have that wonderful families one that keeps popping up in wars. So that can be very useful. Also, Evil Legions as well. So very good one indeed. All right, and now let's get to the two new ones here. Uh, if you have Facebook, and I do, and you're subscribed to the, uh, the Monster Legends community, like I am, you probably got a good chunk of information about these two. They're really overpowered. I mean, not even funny overpowered. All right, let's talk about this fellow. Islu? I don't know, Islu, something like that. Um, this guy is a tank. He's got a castable Megataunt. He's got a water group attack that does um, curse. And he's got, what else was there? There was a whole bunch of other stuff that was like really ugly. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that he actually has to cast his um, Megataunt, I didn't get information about his trait. I'm willing to bet he taunts from his trait. He would just be ridiculously overpowered, right? Oh, by the way, he can get that if you rank him up, by the way. As I understand, I think it's rank 3. He does do the Megataunt right out of his, um, right out of his trait. Uh, but he's, like, ridiculously overpowered. All kinds of insane stuff he has. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of what we're seeing now. The newer creatures are just so much more powerful that if you're just living off the older ones, you just don't have a chance. Really. And speaking of not having a chance, let's talk about Nitro Blaster. Wow, look at all those books. Wow. And, of course, let's not forget the most important one here is Elite. Yes, he's an Elite. Okay, so he is an Elite. He is also an Artifact, which means that um, you can't put positive or negative effects on him. Unless, of course, he's doing it himself. Uh, one of his skills is that he can disable his own trait, and you'd wonder why he want to do that, so that he can put Pierce on himself. And then, of course, put make it so you can't remove positive status effects from him. And then I'm sure as soon as he uses the Pierce in his attack and does all kinds of terrible things with it, I'm sure that his disabled trait is going to wear off and then he's going to be able to do stuff again. Um, he has a, uh, a group double damage that gives him an extra turn. He also has an attack that gives him an extra turn that does big damage. It puts burn and ignite on the target. And he also has a heavy group fire attack that makes them weak to fire. Uh, thankfully, that one doesn't have an extra turn ability, but uh, I'm guessing that may have been an oversight in the text. So, yeah, I mean, he is going to be really, really tough. Uh, it's going to be a matter of people who don't finish these mazes are going to be in a different class from the people who do. That kind of thing. Um, they're both really strong, but obviously since he is the... Uh, the elite, he's probably the one you want. But you'll also notice he's at the bottom, so he's going to be rather hard to get your hands on there. All right, the other thing to know is that the, um, I mentioned this in a previous video, the secret path is going to be Clippium, who is a decent tank himself. He doesn't rank with uh, this fellow down here, though, just saying. Um, and I'm sure you can see at the top, that this this be maze began yesterday, of course. And, of course, this morning we have the maze coin dungeon. I expect the, um, I expect the uh, uh, secret path to either be tomorrow or the day after. Uh, it really depends. It wouldn't surprise me if it was tomorrow. But I, they, the last time they did skip a day, which was good. I don't know if they're going to do that this time. 
But I hope they do. I would actually like them to skip two days. That would be kind of good. Uh, that gives you an opportunity to build up coins. You can see I'm up to 1569. I, I think I'm like halfway through the Mways coin dungeon. And at this point, do we really need to go over how you get the coins? Well, you know, we'll mention it. You collect gold. You collect food. You can get stuff from collecting food, too. Uh, you can actually feed your creatures to get some. You can hatch and breed. You can do PvP battles. You know, basically... The same thing as the Master of Paths, it's the same principle for getting the coins. If you do, were doing that, then you know what you're doing, right? Anyway, can you get enough? I have no idea. I don't know what the numbers are. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that these guys down here are going to be very hard to get. Um, if you don't think you're going to be able to get Nitro Blaster, maybe you'll come up just short or something like that. The other guy's not a bad deal. I mean, he's... He's pretty strong. If you if you go to where I told you to, you know, you look at it, he's pretty strong too. So obviously Nitro Blaster is the one you want to go for if you are capable of that kind of coin production. I don't know that I am. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, I don't really see a purpose for me for going for Clippium. Um, I guess I'd have to do a little research on him. I don't know if I would actually have enough. See, the fact that I had all that stuff stuffed into my hatchery means I haven't been able to do the hatching and breeding to generate coins over the last, like, day and a half. I just got it opened up when I did my breeding video a little bit earlier today. So at that point, the first one opened up, and I'm able to start doing some stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know about this one. Um... What am I going to do? Am I going to go for the limited path? I don't really see a purpose in going for the limited path, but I guess I could look them up and such. Um, it's just that if you were going to go for a tank, this guy's actually a better one anyway, you know? Um, and in terms of Nitro Blaster at the bottom, I have no idea. And I don't know whether or not they're going to do what they did last time, which was announce the 30% the discount earlier than they did the time before. See, the time before, the maze before, not this one, the one we just did, the one before that, um, they announced this, the 30% discount during a day on a Sunday, like two days before the event ended. This last time, it was like four or five days before it was over, which is not as good because it has less of an impact. If you're talking about a 30% discount, you want to save up as many of the coins as you can to get the maximum amount for the 30% discount. So I have no idea, even if they're going to do that. They probably will, but I mean, later is better than sooner, if you know what I mean. So we're going to have to see how this works out. Uh, when does the uh, limited pass show up? Guaranteed within the next two days. Could be tomorrow. They did give us the extra day the last time. If they don't give you the, if they, they start it tomorrow, well, it's going to run for two days, and then we'll have to try to figure out how much it actually is. If anybody, if it does open up and somebody does it, you know, let us know what the, the coin count is. Keep careful count on that, right? Anyway, we're going to have to see the way this works out. But obviously, these two guys at the bottom, they're the prizes. Uh, these two here aren't too bad either. I mean, if you're doing like your first or second maze and you can get either one of these, they're definitely worth it. You know, both of them are really good. You know, one of them will get you good darkness denial. The other one will get you good fire creature that can actually tank for you, too. So those are good. Yeah, up here, yeah, I mean, if you don't have anything. But, you know, you're probably just better off charging down to see if you can get one of these guys. And, of course, remember, the Maze Coin Dungeon is only for one day. I think it has like 13 hours for me at the moment. Um, I wanted to make sure I finished the, the, the Gems Dungeon first because I wanted the Gems. But I definitely am going to be finishing that one too. I'm about halfway through it at the moment. And you can see I have my six attacks back, so I will be doing that right after this. I think that's everything that's new. Um, war. Yeah, war. We're not going to be staying here very long, by the way, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, as I am told, this is the, uh, the 105 ranked team. Yeah, they're destroying us. I actually did get all six coins from my two attacks this morning, but you'll notice it was on 27 and it was on 30. I actually got very lucky here. I, I loaded my team up and... Uh, I'm like, oh, the, the Baba Yaga is so much faster than me. And then for some reason, it did a single target attack 
on my general studies that just did damage. It did. I guess it was resisted, whatever it did. Maybe it was the uh, possession, but it got resisted. So I'm like, okay. And then I was able to win. It was, it was bad AI. That's what it was. Bad AI. If it had done the group possession, I would have been toast. Um, this one, basically my sunblast went faster than theirs. And this, this was done by the computer. Nobody set this up. I mean, why would you, why would you do this? Put three denials in there with no support speed? So the computer did that. They didn't do that. So, I mean, those are the only two teams I had a chance against. Everybody else falls into this category. You know? I just don't know. No. Or this category right here. Just no real chance. No real chance. So what we're going to do again, and I mean again, is we're going to do an extra PvP fight. Uh, because going in there and just losing doesn't really make them a lot of sense. I mean, I'm going to do my attacks and I'm going to very likely lose. I might look into bad AI again, but you know, when the when the monsters get really that much stronger, they can overcome bad AI. All right. Like I said, we're going to do 5 today. So, let's do 5. All right. So, let's go on in. And I put the two strongest teams at the bottom because I have a feeling we're going to need them there. Uh, because if the first three teams are successful, we're definitely going to need those strong teams at the bottom. All right, so let's uh, set up our first team. Our first team today was suggested by the Ultimate Hen. And the Ultimate Hen gave me four teams, and I chose the fourth one. So we're going to begin over in Earth, and this is going to be right on top. It's going to be Grog. Next up, we're going over to Darkness. And we're going to be going with, he's here somewhere, Jesse. And finally, over in, I think he's in light. Let's see. Uh, I get confused. Oh, there he is. Dumbo. All right. I probably should throw some um, support on him. That's probably the way I should use him. We'll see how that works out in the future. Um, I don't know in terms of speed how we're going to do here. Do I actually want to risk a Gokora against a Gokora? Well, you know what I see on the right, or you know what I should say I don't see on the right, is I don't see any um, denial. However, I do see some very ugly stuff that I don't want to mess with. All right, I'm thinking we do the, um, the left. Because, you know what it is? I wouldn't mind the Prince Charmless. I wouldn't mind the uh, Minosaurus, dude. However, Holter's bodyguard is one of those really annoying dudes. Just like Keithor, they're really annoying. So I don't want to mess with them. We'll do this. It all depends on the runes, right? I do think Jazzy... Oh, okay, for a minute there, I saw, I saw a seven, and I was thinking I had sevens across the board on the other Gakora, but no, no. All right, we should be able to do something about this. All right. Okay, now the... Um, what the the Voltec is going to be a bit of a problem. Frankly, none of us are water, so that's a good thing. Okay, but he's actually going next, too. That actually could work out really well. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you nice nightmares and possession. Okay. And like I said, the vault -Tec. The vault -Tec could be a problem. So I am going to have us uh, evading. Okay. Well, that worked out all right. Here, you guys have some total blind and some quicksand. Ow. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, I'm thinking, why don't we just go with immunity? Yeah, I mean, that'll do. Some darkness on them. All right, let's see. What are we doing here? Heavy damage to one. That will actually kill you. Deactivate cooldowns on one ally. Um, I wouldn't mind him being able to do that again. Ow! 
that was unpleasant. I wish I had taken that into consideration. Uh, I guess there's no purpose in doing anything at the moment. Let me think. He can't do that, right? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're just going to sit around and wait then. Spiritual cleaning. Removes positive status effects from one enemy. And all negative status effects from us. Um, I, I want you to die. I see that you still have that on you. I want you to die. Oh, okay. You healed yourself. Okay, but you guys are not... Oh, you have... Damage mirror. Okay, so it's not a skill mirror. It's a damage mirror. Remove stamina from all targets. Apply. Give stamina to allies. Yeah, uh, no, no damage there. Or right, let's see. Remover of optical. Deactivate cooldowns on one guy. Immune to stun, freeze, possession. That could be useful with this guy up here, since he's about to go. Alright, let's think. Uh, why don't we do this again? Okay, could you stop doing that? I'd really appreciate it. Here, could you be my friend for two rounds? Okay, good. Remove positive stats effects? Yeah, why don't we get rid of that? Alright, that worked out. Okay, and some coins. PvP wins. Oh, hi, how you doing? I guess we're going to be seeing you for a while. Until I guess the um, Clippian will probably be there for a while. And maybe Clippian will actually give me something good. Okay. These evil ones are just evil. All right, so let's go with our next team. Our second team today was suggested by Yeet Yeet. A uh, name so good they had to say it twice. And Yeet Yeet wanted to see... We're going to start over in light. And unfortunately going down a little further than I would like for fortune. All right, now we're going to be going over to darkness. Where is he? Is he here? He should be close to the top here for Nick. Okay, unfortunately Nick has a four on him. That's a bad thing. And then we're going back to... We're going back to light, and this is going to be Bella. Okay, so... Light, two ladies in the light, and Nick. All right, so let's see. She's going to be helping with uh, speed, though, so hopefully that'll make the difference. We're going to be freezing. We're going to be freezing them, not us, of course. All right, up the middle. That's just not going to happen. Nope, absolutely not. Uh, we're not even talking about the fact that two of them are going to be immune to freezing. It's just no, no. 120s and 115? Nope. Um, I guess that the Alex Bone is the denial over there. The Galatron is immune to all control, so we can't do anything about that. Of course, on the other side, we have two generals who are both tough. I think that Talika is hardened. Um, that's a good question now. Uh, why don't we just try another one? Let's just see if we can see something here. Um, yeah, the starfish is immune to freezing. And yeah, Ragnarok. No, that's not, maybe I should have picked one of those first teams, huh? Yeah, I really should have, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble now. Uh, I guess I'm going up the middle. It's not like I have a lot of choice. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I should have picked one of those first teams. Oh, just terrible. I mean, the tag is immune to freezing. But these guys were all 130. Yeah, I should have, I should have done it when I uh, had the opportunity. I, I have to go up the middle. I don't have a choice in the matter, but I have a feeling I'm going to die. Yes, well, okay, this is going to end very badly. Sorry, I really should have picked one of those first two teams. Okay, so only one of them survived that. Uh, okay, so who are you, what are you going to do? Oh, wonderful. Oh, you did it yourself, okay. Okay. 
And uh, I don't suppose you want to do be prepared? I didn't think so. And of course, yeah, you know what? They're evading, so I might as well just buff. Yeah, you're going to die. Um, is there anybody here I can hit? You're immune to control. You're evading. You're camouflaged. So the only one I can actually hit is up here. And I wouldn't be going for the freeze. I guess I'm going for this. And now Nick's dead. Oh, wonderful. N new Buki's taunting now. Okay, um, a whole new hit. Well, I can, I have to hit the Neo Buki. I don't have a choice in the matter. Do I have, uh, that won't do it. All right, just kill the Neo Buki. All right, um, uh, this one and gain regeneration. I'm only going to be able to hit the other one, though. Can I do something? Remove all positive status effects. Yeah, but what difference does it make? Because they're just going to attack right afterwards anyway. It doesn't make any sense to do that. I might as well go... I can only hit one of them. I might as well blind, right? Or oh, that's right. Is that a control? I guess that's a control. Okay, are you going now? Okay, you're still camouflaged and you're evading. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, you're going to be prepared. All right. See, this one will give her regeneration, but it isn't going to hit anybody. How long until she gets that other one back? A very long time. Oh, remove positive status effects. I might as well just do that. Because the double damage, you know? Yeah, he probably would have killed Bella with that. All right, uh, you're, you're, you're doing that again, aren't you? That's very annoying. Okay, you're dead. And you're gonna die in a moment. Um, I only hope that she has... Can you remove... Wait a minute, who's going... Well, he's not gonna be able to do anything. All right, I'm going to do this in the hopes that the regeneration might keep her alive. Okay. Uh, feel the hit. This one, and she'll get, he'll get the sunburn. Okay, so that actually saved her. All right, boom, you're dead. Woo! That was close. All right, but that was a good win, though. Good win. Oh, and by the way, I do need three PvP fights for something. So, we're going to be doing something after this. Um, ouch. Alright, let's just go in and set up our next team. Okay, so, uh, so far, we have good success here. Which isn't necessarily good because it's driving the trophy count up. Like I said, the last two teams are the tough teams. All right, but this, these other ones aren't so bad, too. Uh, anyway, let's go with our third team. Our third team today was suggested by the Dorky Dudes. And the Dorky Dudes had a theme. I'm sure you'll pick up on what the theme is. All right, we're going to start over in darkness. And he's, is he 105? I don't really know. He's not. Okay, we're going with uh, Sparrow. All right, yeah, two lock ruin slots, unfortunately. Uh, next up, we're going over to Water, and I think he's 105, isn't he? Uh, maybe he's not. No, Luffy. All right, and then, finally, over in Thunder, and I'm sure you're picking up on the, uh, the theme here, right? Pirates! Because we got Mufasa in there. Oh, wow, they have the exact same, um, they have the exact same rune, uh, runes there, don't they? I wonder who's naturally faster. All right, let's hope that one or both of them go before our, uh, our opponents, because otherwise we'll have a lot of trouble. Yeah, okay. 
yeah, even though there's no real denial on the um, the left, we don't have enough damage to actually do anything about. On the right, we does not enough damage to do anything about that. I see, up the middle, oh, just no. The the um, you don't go with a one ten Temerian unless you got speed on it, right? The problem is that we're like at fifty four hundred. So if I hit the button, we're probably gonna. What's gonna happen is happened the last time. I don't want to fight what's on the left. But I don't think I have a choice in the matter. All right, let's go. Because we're going to be burning right from the beginning. Ignition? I think he does ignition from the beginning. Oh, we have support speed. How fast are you? Five? Ten? All right. And you are? Oh, that's much better. Who's faster? You're 57. Oh, wow. You are significantly faster, aren't you? Even though you have the exact same runes on you. You also have better numbers, too. Yeah, more modern ones are just better. Okay, we might have a chance here, so let's see what happens. Yeah, we're going to ignite. All right, uh, let's go with the activation of cooldowns. Now, that may not save us from the uh, Kihaku. That's the problem with him. Stunning? I'm going to go with the freezing, because I think he can stun... I wouldn't want to do that right now. All right, you know what? Let's go with the stunning and see what we can get. Okay, we got all of them. He's got he's got pretty good accuracy there. All right, let's think about this. Uh, not doing that one now, obviously. Made days. Bleeding. I'd really like to get rid of this dude in the front. But they're already bleeding. All right, why don't we do this? Heavy dark damage to all of them, made days. All right, um, let's think about this for a minute. Removes 50% of stamina. That's going to really hurt the Kihaku. That is a good question. Am I more concerned... Guard down to everybody else. Who's going next? If I do this one, Luffy is going next. He can get the freezes down if they have guard down on them. So I'm going to do that one. I was just thinking, who do I want to take the stamina away from? The 100%. The thing is, you would say Kihaku, but, I mean, if the other guy gets encouragement up, we're dead. We're just dead. So, I mean, I would consider that to be a worse situation. But... If I do this and they all get guard down on them, then that means that Luffy can come back with the freeze and get a much better chance of landing it. All right, who? Okay, you didn't get the, you didn't get that one. All right, let's go for the freeze. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, more importantly, they don't have the immunity to stun anymore, right? All right, now, I want your stamina gone. All right, let's think about this. Uh, move stamina from you. That doesn't really help very much. I can do more damage with this to the guy on the top. Okay, um, this one will stun you. Two of you have a guard down on you. It will also do good damage, so... Okay, we got we got all the stuns down on all of you. Okay, and you don't have any stamina. Lead rain. All right, uh, that's not gonna kill anybody. All right. Okay, that's that was your action. Oh 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 oh. Okay. Cooldowns. All right. Uh, piracy is the way. A life steal sounds like a great idea. And you. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, you're possessed, but you don't have any stamina. That was a good stroke of luck right there. All right. Go for the sails. I think he should just wait until he's got the other one. Okay. And let's see. You have no immunities on you. Um, that is bleeding... Abomination is possession and bleeding, I believe, right? So, uh, let's go for the freeze. 
Alright, good. Alright. Arg. Okay, no- oh, no bleeding for you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I'm gonna take half your stamina away and kill ya. Okay, the pirates won the day! Right, and a spin. You know, I really could use some of the good stuff there. You know, I... I really hate those evil monsters. You seem to be having some problems there. Uh, maybe some oil or something? Maybe being a little less evil and giving me some gems? Hey, you should try it. Okay, so our uh, trophy count is up high, but our teams are about to get tough. I mean, so far they've been victorious. And these two might very well just easily lose, but you know what? We're just going to bottom stack them. All right. Our fourth team today was suggested by Finn McMissell. And Finn wanted to see... Starting over in nature. And this is going to be Indigo. Then, of course, we're going over to light. And someone who is absolutely, positively, not fat. Read the comments of the previous video if you are interested in that discussion. All right, and the final individual here is over in metal, and this is going to be someone I really wish I could rank up without having to blow so much. This is... Porky! All right, so let's uh, find some victims. All right, so if they're going, obviously I don't want to play with their Elvira. That just doesn't do anything good, right? I also don't like the idea of a Corel Brutalis getting the opportunity to do Megaton, right? Yeah, up the middle. Um, that's a really good question. I might be biting off way too much there. But the thing is, they're not going to be able to act... Well, you know the thing about it is, Porky is going to be out ahead of Elvira and Indigo, right? The thing about it is, if he gets the opportunity, he's going to take the stamina away. The thing is, as soon as they get their stamina back, they're going to decimate us. And I don't think Indigo can take both of them down. No, so we're going to have to do a refresh. I think that's a little bit too much, right? Especially since he's not going to be able to get cursed down on the Flamerion, right? Which is kind of an important thing. Up the middle is asking for a lot of trouble. Especially since the... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he can go right through... Um, uh, positive status effects. So, yeah, I don't want to do that one. I will do the team on the... Um, that could be a problem. All right, we're going to do the team on the right because Mirak might really mess us up with the buffs she gives to her own team, right? All right, let's see how that works out. I mean, she might just give them all evade and then we're just in deep trouble anyway. Uh, the runes are not very good, but like I said, Mirak is very... If she gives her guys evade, we're dead. I shouldn't say we're dead. We're in a lot of trouble. Who's going first? Oh, you're actually going first. All right, what do we got here? You got damage protection. Can only be damaged by nature element. All right, well, i that's a good question. I'm guessing the curse will still work on him. Positive status effects protected. Okay, you, you got the booby prize yourself, right? All right, this is what we're doing. We're going to take their stamina away and give them curse. Okay, are you still... You're not protected still. I mean, you lost your little protection. This is a good thing. All right, if I have to pick somebody to get rid of, it's going to be you. All right. And a little bit of Entangle Cloak. All right, you're up. Um, I'll just do that. And then you're up next, actually. Oh, he resisted the, um, all right, you know what? Take him out. Because he resisted the debuff. But it doesn't seem to matter anyway because you're dead. All right, they they're weren't very good because of their runes. The other teams were just really too strong. All right. 
Uh, I'll take the maze coins. The maze coins would be okay. I suppose. It's better than food and money. Maybe I'm just getting him back in there, right? Getting in. Maybe he'll uh, be nice to us. All right, so let's go with our fourth and final team for today. Our fourth and final team is from a veteran. And uh, this veteran is Yusuf Sabir. And Yusuf wants to see over in fire. We're going with Nova. And then we're going with Sparta. And then finally, over in light, we're going with... Dum -dum 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 -dum. Where is... There he is. Lance. All right, so obviously we have a very strong team here. And uh, we have nice speed support for Lance being given to Nova. So Nova is going to be very fast. All right. Uh, Mephisto and that guy. I don't think I want to do that. That just sounds like a terrible idea. Do I want to mess with that team on the right? See, the thing is, Wasper is going to be free and clear to act after the first round. And I am going to have to kill that Corot Brutalis. He's probably going to have a lot of health on him. But I do have a lot of single target damage. It's the Wasper that's going to be a problem, though. Very likely he's going to disable traits, which means Lance will be open to group attacks. But fortunately, there's going to be no Mega Taunt at the beginning of a fight. I just can't let that one do that. All right. We have a strong team, so I think we need a strong opponent. So we're going to do that team on the right. It damages on a Baba Yaga. There, there are no words. At least there's health. On, is that a support health? It's a team health. Okay. I was thinking, okay, well, that's going to be a problem. How much? Okay, 40, 142,000. All right, obviously the big problem is going to be... What is that? Wait a minute. Atom's armor at the start of a battle gives 15,000 points. Okay, so he's going to get that twice. Okay, uh, he's going to be a bit of a problem. All right, let's go. Obviously, obviously we're going first, right? All right, so he's evading, so he's going to avoid this which is the activating cooldowns and sunburn. All right. Now Wasper. That's a problem. All right. Uh, let's see. My, uh, do I want to use that one on you? What do I do here? Oh, the second attack can take out the Baba Yaga. But I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, what am I thinking? I have a taunter up here. It's all going to be going right to him. Okay. Stun. Very good. And just go for the big one here. Okay, that's nearly half. All right, and let's see. Oh, I have my opportunity to deal with you now, don't I? All right, why don't we go for uh, possessions, which is not going to work on the Baba Yaga. I'm hoping it works on the Wasper. Good. Well, you work for us now. Of course, you don't have any stamina, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. How to kill your dragon. Do we have any dragons? Well, are you a dragon? You're not a dragon. Okay. Uh, we're dragon slayers. Okay. And uh, everybody can just have some curse and sunburn. And he's evading now. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Let's see. Um, just get some... Uh... Okay, you're dead. This is good. Finish him. Okay. Well, that worked out good. Very strong team. Very strong victory. Y you know, that pain might go away if you'd actually, you know, give me good stuff. I hate evil monsters. Pandas are the worst, too. All right, what was I talking about? All right, let's go do something. Um, oh, I got all kinds of dealy stuff here now, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go over into... Actually, not there. Not there, not there, not there. 
Let's go looking for some chests here. We're going to do this. And then I'm going to open this one. Okay, what did I get there? Some, okay. Most importantly, what else I got? Because I now have 15. So in here, you're going to get one of Venos's friends, or you're going to get a nemesis. I'm guessing I'm getting one of Venos's friends. There's a couple of individuals I wouldn't mind an upgrade for. Um, Arnold would definitely like an upgrade, but I might as well just open it and let's see. Well, I don't have him. I have no idea if he's any good, but I don't have him, so I suppose that's that's something. All right. Well, I, like I said, who are the individuals? I have... How many of them do I have now? I, I actually don't have enough to even count. I have one, two, now three, four, and that's it. I have four of them, so obviously not enough to uh, finish that book. Okay, that's the way it is. All right, so the uh, war, not going too well. Hopefully the next one works out, and hopefully they do that... Um, you know, that new system without the eight-hour cooldown between wars, which is really kind of silly. Uh, I think I said in the past, I think a good thing is to have one time of day where all the matchmaking takes place, you know. So if your team is available, I really like the idea of not having to start the war, that it just starts automatically if your team is opting in. Um, there are games that work like that, and I think that's good. I would, however, not like the eight-hour cooldown. I think that's kind of, like, not necessary. I mean, if you're fighting a war, you pretty much know if you want to participate in the next one or not, right? I mean, at this point right now, would we want to participate in the next war? The answer is yes, but we would know that now. We don't need eight hours to think about it between wars. That's just kind of silly. Just designate a time once a day where all the matchmaking takes place. If your team is opt-in, it happens right then and there. I think that's a better idea because eight hour that's just really, I don't know why that's even there. Uh, just lose that idea and I'll like the rest of it. As long as we're not fighting teams that are like God mode tier, you know? I mean, we should not be fighting uh, the 105th ranked team in there. It just doesn't make any sense, right? All right, and I think that's going to be it for now. So, long episode, but we did have some stuff to talk about, and we did some extra PvP. So, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya!